Welcome back to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. Today we're gonna to be going over my top five 26 inch retro BMX. So let's get into this video and show you what I think of my top five one by one. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna go over five of my 26 inch bikes. They are all different brands. And I'm gonna at the end, so you gotta wait till the end. Make sure you stick around for that. Tell you which one is my favorite. That's a really hard decision to make, but I'm hoping that during the filming of this video, I can come to that conclusion and you can help me in the comments down below. So tell me what you think about these bikes. And in no particular order, the very first one up is my 26 inch Redline Squareback. Okay, there it is, my 26 inch Redline square bag. Let me know what you think about it. I've done a lot of custom work to this bike, as is the case with most of these bikes. None of the bikes I'm gonna show you are how they come right out of the box. All my bikes are customized to my liking by me. I'm gonna have a hard, hard choice at the end of this video. I like this bike so much. Let's go over some of the things that I did to this bike. First thing you'll notice is the Redline V-bars, which I powder coated to match the frame and fork. I found some Redline decals, put them on there, a California light pad, which was new old stock, Die Comp MX2 levers, Amy grips, and flight donuts. I used Die comp brake cables in white added a front brake mx 1000 on there these are haro 26 inch sealed bearing high flange wheels and then some comp 3 style knobby gum wall tires to give it that old school look but that's not all in the power department we got mks bm7 pedals and powder coated to match the bike redline flight cranks with a new redline decal applied to that a neptune sprocket to kind of go with the look of the old school redline sprocket a white and chrome chain a night bike company seat post clamp red anodized seat post and a red and white checkered padded seat. Up front we have a powder coated stem cap and a front load red anodized stem. And then a couple little details like the valve stem caps are dice, the brake end caps are dice. So as you can see that is a full custom build and gets a lot of attention. That red and white especially with the checkers really screams old school. So comment down below that's bike number one, the 26 inch Redline Squareback. Now, let's pull out bike number two and see which one that is. All right, this next bike is epic, so rad. One of my most customized 26 inch bikes. Now I need to give you some backstory. This started out as one of the GT Pro Performers and it came in like a translucent, purple color with a lot of black components. You could have bought that bike and it was cool the way it looked. Well, I wanted to up that and turn this into or maybe replicate an 85 GT Pro World Tour Eddie Fiola edition. So this, with without a doubt, is one of my favorites, but I want you to comment and let me know what you think about it as well. The Eddie Fiola Replica 85 GT Pro World Tour in a 26 inch. Let's check it out.
Okay, let's go over some of the parts, but before I do, I have a part that's not on the bike yet, and it is a hollow stem bolt to run the front brake cable down through the mallet stem, out through the fork, and back up to the front brake. So this will be going on this bike to give it a completed look. So without that, the bike is pretty much complete. So let's go over the parts and you tell me what you think in the comments below. Right up front, we have the Amy Grips Flight Checkered Donuts, Tech 77 Locking Levers, Flight GT Santa Ana Pads, GT Mallet, Die Comp Nippon Style uh, Front Brake, Fork Standards, GT Super Lace Hubs, GT Dice Cap, and 26 inch GT Tires. And these are sitting on Rhino Light Chrome Hoops. I've powder coated the bike yellow, decaled it with GT Pro World Tour decals, and Eddie Fuel assigned it. If you've been following along or subscribed long enough, you saw the video where Eddie Fuel rode and signed this bike. That day he gave me a keychain of an upside down one, and he applied the Eddie Fuel decal to the frame. Okay, for drivetrain, you have the GT PC pedals, GT Power Series cranks, and GT Power Disc and Sprocket. I added the black and chrome chain, chrome frame standers, and I added the Pro Max yellow and black brake pads to kind of match the bike also. This is a full custom, complete 26 inch GT Pro World Tour Eddie Fiola replica bike. That's bike number two. Let me know what you think down below. And now let's pull out bike number three. Okay, next up, bike number three. I know this is a crowd favorite because if you follow me on Instagram at rad underscore BMX underscore builds, you've seen this bike. It gets a lot of comments, a lot of likes. This is a 2017 26 inch Hutch Pro Racer but this is serial number one that they made in 2017, and it is loaded with Hutch parts. Let's take a look. Okay, you can see why the Hutch bike number three is a favorite. Chrome is king, right? The chrome on this is amazing. This build is absolutely stunning. The chrome is super nice. So it is loaded with Hutch parts from the grips to the bars, to the stem, to the headset. Frame, fork, seat post clamp, seat post, crank set, and pedals are all Hutch. And if you know anything about Hutch, it's very expensive, but let's go over in detail some of the parts. Okay, right up front we have the Hutch Grip with the Flight Donuts, MX2 die comp locking levers, and this brake cable is chrome and black, which is pretty rad. Hutch bars, Hutch pads, deep cut H Hutch threadless stem, Hutch bars, frame, and forks. And then you have a 26 inch with high flange sealed bearing hubs and the black dice, of course, with a Comp 3 style gum wall tire. As we move back, you have the Hutch pads and then the donut Hutch seat post clamp, the Hutch seat post, and a Velo lightning bolt seat. We move down to the best part. The Hutch crank set. These cranks are absolutely stunning and flawless Hutch pedals. You know that if you've been looking at prices, that is a ton of money worth of parts right there. So you go back, you have the iconic loop tail. I used black washers on there. And then the MX2 die comp brakes, die tech pads, the black dice on the cable. And this bike is just absolutely awesome. Love riding this bike. So comment down below what you think about bike number three, the Hutch 2017 26 inch serial number one.
I own two fully built custom 26 inch race ink bikes, but the one I chose has some really rad and rare parts. So I decided to go with this one. This is the brand new 26 inch race ink in bubblegum pink. You can see why I chose this bike. I love the colors of this bike. Pink is a big inspiration for me. As you can see in my logo, I use it. And I just love a pink bike because it just pops and stands out from the rest of the crowd, right? But this bike, I completely covered in Cook Brothers parts. And some parts that you, are just really hard to get right now, so it's a little bit more unique than my other custom race ink in that aspect. So let's go over some of the cool parts that are on this bike. All right, first up, I wanna highlight the Cook Brothers brake lever. It's a locking lever that'll lock to the box uh, grips that are on there. And this is a Tongi Pro Bar, which is held on by a night bike polished stem. And if we come around this way, you'll see the carbon fiber Batima stem cap and the Batima headset. This is a brand new headset. And if you've been watching my YouTube, you know all about it. I've covered that and these awesome chrome Batima forks. These are also on Rhino Light aluminum wheels with box two 26 inch tires that are phenomenal riding smooth, quiet tires. And then we move back a little bit. We'll stay up high here and look at the polished night bike seat post clamp and a Cook Brothers fluted seat post, a mission padded cruiser seat, and we'll keep coming back here. We have a Cook Brothers polished rear V-brake. It's even got really sweet pads on it that are polished aluminum as well. And then we come back and you'll see the dropout armor and the Cook Brothers chain, which is beautiful on this bike. And then a huge pop of polished night bike power disc and sprocket powered by these gorgeous Cook Brothers cranks. And I couldn't stop there, I had to get the MKS. I think these are XC3 pedals, really hard to get, had to get them from Japan, took a while to get here. You can see that bike is just loaded with quality, hard to find parts, and when it's out riding in the sun, that bike just glistens, it's absolutely gorgeous. That's bike number four. Last but not least, bike number five is coming, but leave a comment down below what you thought of the 26 inch bubblegum pink Cook Brothers Batima build that was sponsored by Night Bike. I can't leave out Night Bike. George, thank you so much for all of your help. Let's check out the last, but certainly not the least, of this five bike review. Okay, I'm really happy to show you bike number five. I just got this bike recently. I actually did a build of this bike for Bike List. I liked it so much, I had to get one for myself and add it to my collection. This is the brand new 45th anniversary 26 inch SE OM Flyer, baby blue and gold. Let's check it out. Okay, the trained eye immediately is gonna see all the parts that I swapped out. This bike looks like it should be stock. SE, you should be putting them out looking like this. This bike originally came with a lot of black components and I swapped them out for gold because like my PK Ripper, which isn't in this video, but you can find it in some other videos on my YouTube channel, baby blue and gold is the best color combination they've ever come out with. I'm gonna show you some of the parts I swapped out in detail, let's check them out. Starting up front, you'll notice the baby blue mission grips, the brand new splatter flight donuts, the Dicomp MX2 brake lever, the baby blue brake cable, flight pad set, a gold bell for when you're riding at the beach on the beach trail, get people out of your way, even added a baby blue cup holder, 26 inch Haro gold wheels, these really wide gum wall Bozak tires, which I really like, Wellgo gold pedals, gold sprocket, gold seat post, and a Velo baby blue lightning bolt seat. 
And then the rear brake, a die comp, V brake in gold, the Haro rear wheel, everything matches back here. Just an excellent daily rider. So those are the five bikes. I want you to tell me down below, if you had to pick one out of those five, which one would it be? Let's give you a bonus. I know this is about the top five, but I really feel like I'm neglecting one of my favorites. So a little bonus will not be in the voting count here, but I wanna show you one more bike. I just couldn't do a video about 26 inch bikes without showing you this next one. I call it Gold Member, and it is powder coated in metallic gold and dark blue anodized parts. I'm not gonna go into much detail, I'm just gonna show you this bike. And there she is, gold member herself. I really like that bike, I just wanted to share it with you. Let's recap real quick, bike number one. That was the Redline Squareback. Bike number two was the GT Pro World Tour. Bike number three, the Hutch. Bike number four, the Pink Race Inc. And bike number five, the Baby Blue and Gold SE OM Flyer. So please comment down below which one was your favorite. And while you contemplate that, there is merch available at radbmxbuilds.com slash merch. I wanna let you know which one is my favorite. Out of all of these bikes, I know you've been waiting and thank you for sticking around to the end. My favorite bike is